All over the world. My name is Yobuefi Ezana. We go to the Norifite. Abu Moni is in charge. We go to the Rodana Temple. And you know, Bafa Bafa Mirami, look at the Olum Modi teacher. Abu Kazimoni is in charge and order a restoration evangelical mission. So you can call me a priest or order an evangelist. I will answer. My mission is to help people live better life. Today, in the program, Hour of Truth, today's topic is Sacrifice is Greater Than Charms. Sacrifice is Greater Than Charms. You can't even ask what you know, you can't even ask what you know. You can't even ask what you know. If you pay attention to today's lecture, believe in me, you will learn something that will change your life for good. Before we dive into today's lecture proper, important announcement. Don't forget that our monthly rituals of September is still ongoing. You can still join in this monthly rituals anywhere you are all over the globe because distance is never a barrier in our spiritual works and in our consultative deep consultations. Now, what I want to tell you is this, and don't forget. Now, our monthly ritual, you can join us anywhere you are. It's sacrifice for upliftment, breakthrough, and liberation. We have lots of testimonies, but as you all know, in the temple system, we don't share testimonies on social media or in Asia TV anywhere. You know why? It's not necessary. But I can tell you that our group rituals has been in existence almost three years now. We have lots of testimonies. This morning, I have gone to the temple to speak, make a declaration upon the lives of those that join us for the month. Especially the friends of the temple, the children of the temple, and our fans all over the globe. Now, on the last day of September, we visit the rivers with whichever tents to offer sacrifices at Saraka on behalf of all. Then we proceed back to the temple to offer sacrifices to entities of powers, including Ram Ibn. On behalf of all for Saraka, I can tell you, we have lots of testimonies. Yes, what you don't know is only means a mystery to you and not to all. Again, remember, if you are a friend of the child of the temple, if you are a child of the temple, remember that this month of September, September 14, is a great day in the temple. It's a day for children of the temple. Any child of the temple is expected to do contribute his annual contribution. Yes, for this annual festival of the children of the temple. That day, Bukazi was in Jawaji. Yes, annually. 
So if you're a child of the temple, you are expected to contribute your own water annual for annual sacrifice. You chat me on WhatsApp. Yes. Then again, is that if you are watching us, getting us from outside Africa via your television site, either, either Global TV or Amazon, whatever, chat me on WhatsApp. I would like to know the country you are getting us from. If you are getting us via television set. Now, let's now proceed. So, if you have any question in today's lecture, or you want us to do deep consultation to you, for you, chat me on WhatsApp. WhatsApp number is 0805-7837672. I repeat, 0805-7837672. Or 0813-8243871. 0813-824-871. Let's now proceed in the next of proper. As you are joining us from Ezioku TV, tell people about our administrations. As you are joining us from our social media platforms, Facebook or TikTok, please share. Kin Emenka, as you are doing this, may you be remain blessed. In the name of the Most High, Chuku, Brota, Welo, Mwede, Yagasya. So let's now dive into today's lecture. The topic remains, sacrifice is greater than charms. I will explain it in two parts. Then what is sacrifice? Sacrifice is being selfless, giving out what you have for the benefit of creatures. Like I told you before in my previous lectures that all creatures is to God created all the creatures for purpose. None of any creature was created in vain. Name all the creatures, the birds of the air, the animals, human beings, and other living and not living things. We are we are all here in this gross material for the purpose of glorifying the power and the strength and love of Chuko. So for you as a human being to show love to creatures, one you must allow love to live. With, because without genuine love to reach us, you can never show love. You can show, show, you can show love, sacrifice to other creatures by being selfless. In Ibo spirituality, most spirituality encourages selfless services. You can show love to fellow human beings. You can show love to other creatures. Yes. In Igbo spirituality, we have lots of sacrifices. We have Aja, sacrifice of the blood. And we have non-blood sacrifice. Yes. I know some of you have not heard it for the first time. I hear it for the first time. We have blood sacrifice and we have non-blood sacrifices. Now, examples of non-blood sacrifices is Many a times we normally visit the rivers with eatable things. We hear on to go to rivers to offer sacrifices of non-blood sacrifice. Maybe it could be fruits, could be eatable things. We take it to the waters because we understand that it's living things in the waters, and we human beings are expected to be showing love and to be taking care of those things created by Chuku. But believe in me, once you show love to whatever create, whatever God created, believe in me, you will receive abundant blessings. Because we human beings, we are given mandate to further creation. So, taking care of Whatever that was created by Chuku is a, a sign that we love 
the entire creation. Because those ten created living in the water, they will enjoy and marry if we show them more love. And on a very good day, they are not sweeping or doing anything to us, but we extend love. There is no way we can show or tell Shoku that we love him without showing love to Ihekereke. Love never fair. Love is contagious. If you love someone, you will love all that has to do with the person. So for you to show that you love God, you have to love everything created by him. So visiting the water living tents is out of love. It's salaka. Yes. Because some people don't know that doing salaka to other living tents in order for them to eat and marry is a charitable work. Evil spirituality encourages it. Evil spirituality encourages love without bound. Entire creation, everything created by God, needs to be shown love. And that is what evil spirituality preaches. I remember those days when I was still a little boy. During the holidays, school holidays, I normally stay with my grandma. Those days, I remember vividly. Whatever she wants to eat, she will take small particles. Yes, or small lump, as case may be, maybe if it's one, and throw it. Naturally, he, she understand that those other living things, will come and feast on those things. It's an act of love. If you don't love those things, living things, you will not do it. Because you will be thinking only for yourself. So it's a sacrifice. And the love in this life you are seeing, what is the greatest is love. You must show love to everything created by God. You must love your neighbor as you love yourself. Above all, you must love yourself. So if you love only yourself and you do not love other creatures, that is selfish. So evil spirituality preaches selfless love, selfless services. Minus eatable things. We can show love by showing kind and care. Evil spirituality encourages us to show love to living things, including plants. And the all that concise them has to do with those plants, trees in the compound. Do you know? Do you know that there is in olden days that some people normally go to uh Joko to bury uh placentas of the unborn children, you know. That is why in Igbo spirituality, once you have to kill a plant, there are some certain sacrifices you will perform. Especially secretaries. If there is urge in your environment, when maybe closer to your house, you perform some certain ritual before you can tell urge to relocate before you can cut it. The same thing with other trees that is standing in your compound. If for anything, maybe there is a development coming, you want to build a house, which is development too, then you can talk to those plants. Do the needful in order to remove them. That is the process. Because when the one are going on are giving. So what am I saying in essence? All those things are normal rituals and sacrifice you normally do. When you show you deny yourself some certain things in order to make 
or that creatures happy. That is sacrifice. Even by word of great time, creating time for to advise your fellow human being to counsel the person, that is sacrifice. Sometimes you deny yourself some certain things in order to give gift item to some somebody. That is sacrifice. So sacrifice has to do when you deny yourself some certain privilege in order to show love to other creatures by sacrifice. So sacrifice is an act of love. And I've told you we have white sacrifices. Those white sacrifices is those sacrifices that doesn't involve blood. The way I told you the other time that we have blood altar and the white altar. Yes. The same way we have white sacrifice and blood sacrifices. So those white sacrifices, those sacrifices, you sacrifice without offering blood. When you show charitable work, uh, joyful activities, uh, corporate work of mercy, those ones are white sacrifices, but not in blood. No blood was shared. It's very effective. That is why if we are going to the water element, because water is an altar. Using the water people is an altar. We normally go there with items, eatable items, and the non blood sacrifice. We can go with life, something, something that have life. Uh, we can go with uh, goat, we can go with uh, chicks, we can go with uh, fowls and whatever, hen, cock, and rest of them white. But we are not supposed to kill there because we are, we are performing no blood sacrifice. They may prefer uh, white sacrifice, especially when you visit their altar. You dip the animals inside the water and leave it. If they succeed, so be it. Then if they die, so be it. Depends on how they want it. I can tell you, from today going forward, you understand that, that sacrifice has blood and white. And sacrifice shows love. Then there is another sacrifice we call blood sacrifices. We offer those blood sacrifices because we want to give life in the sense of our own life. So every sacrifice is to a purpose. There is sacrifice that requires white sacrifice, and there is other sacrifices, sacrifices that requires blood sacrifices or life in exchange. Example: When Abraham wanted to kill his son. He was advised to allow the son to go scot free. He in his instead he should offer the ram. So Chuko accept all. So giving sacrifices is all is a love act. It's an act of love. Giving sacrifices open ways. Giving sacrifices remove uke. Remove negative vibration because it's an act of love you can never be able to offer sacrifices without showing love you must have this spark in you that triggers and long for love even for you to take your own money hard earned money to give to someone as arms giving that must be done out of love so it's love that triggers those giving and any act you give out of love has a poor reaction of bringing love back to you. So whatever you want to give, give out of love. Give out of genuine concern for a living thing. For me, I don't joke with sacrifices to the needy. Is someone that really need it. I don't joke with sacrifice to lesser beings or even animals because their hearts are pure. They don't keep malice. They don't keep grudges. If you might be thinking that they don't know, they know. They know what is practical. Let me use cock or hair as an example. If you see where they are hustling for food, you will see them, they will do their leg like this, do their leg like this, they are searching for food. Those particles they are picking up, 
maybe ants or whatever they are picking up. It's out of course. So, but if you, maybe the way we normally package Aja, maybe you buy feed rich, you package this Aja, some of the, the yam particles and the meat particles and give it to them. They saw how the thing was um, arranged. So, this one, they know that is Aja. You might be thinking that they are useless. No, they have their own sense. Are you getting me? So they understand it. We have other Aja. Again, Ajoboruzo. Those Aja we normally place on the road. We are those people that you normally look down on. Those people that you normally call mad people. Those people that you normally call people that are maybe they are insane. They normally go around the road, sometimes they will see those fanta, they will pick it, they will see bread and all those things. They will even see money to buy whatever they need. It gives them joy. That is also sacrifice. Have you asked yourself how on earth that they survive? Those people you call mad people. But they survive. They sleep in the open place, at the bus stop, and they still living. They don't go to hospital, but they're still living. Can't you see that Akati go there? No sound is there in it. So those Aja, we normally place on the road, is for them. Because they, if you know what all the Nazi and Nazi is, that's what you should know. So those are, we have so many forms of sacrifices. I will not be able to mention them one after the other, but I can tell you, every sacrifice is born out of love. So for this, for that, and you know, understand too well that God is love itself. God is love. For the fact that love, God is love, we should understand it, that God is love. God is love. We should understand it. So whatever we do out of love. We are doing it because we want to be a replica of God's love. So, to badge, sacrifice goes so deep. Sacrifice goes so deep. Always offer sacrifice. always offer sacrifice because any soul that often offers sacrifice will never lose anything. Any sacrifice you do, you must receive goodies in return. Give us never mind. In sacrifice, you give what you have. It could be your time. It could be whatever. But the important thing is that you gave something you have. That is sacrifice. So, sacrifice is love. But why in the other society, remember our today's topic, sacrifice is greater than charm. What is charm? Why I ask you to always do sacrifice that sacrifice is out of love. And love is so large that love exists because true work is love himself. So love is an act of love that exists even beyond this cross material world. So love exists beyond material world. So love exists everywhere in the entire universe. Even in the spiritual realm, love exists because Chuku is love himself. So sacrifice is an act of love. 
and sacrifice can take you to a greater reign. Sacrifice you made, you must receive reward for any good sacrifice you made. So, yeah, sacrifice is uh, an expression of good character, good behavior. So, and there is your moment mad when you do in the world of the beyond. So keep being good, keep showing love, because love can take you to greater height in the other world, in the medium. Because love, God, love, sacrifice is love, and God is love. So sacrifice can, which is love, can protect you and help you in the great beyond. But in case of charm. Charm is combination of material things. Charm is creation of man. Charm is creation of man. And for the fact that man dies, whatever man creates cannot live forever. Because whom created that particular thing has beginning and the end. Charm is a creation of man. And for the fact that man has beginning and the end. So whatever a man creates, still we still have beginning and end. Are you following? Let's say we human being, we can give birth to a child. And for the fact that that child we give birth to is procreation. Now, that child we created will ha have beginning and it must have end. Because whatever that has beginning has end. But Tupu has no beginning. It does not have end. And Tupu is love. So love has no beginning and it has no end. And love can last to eternity. Yes. So, but human being, whatever human being creates has beginning and end. Therefore, Whatever that was formulated, or that whatever that is formulated by a human being, has beginning and end. And whatever a man is formulating, must be something that has beginning and end. Example: whatever the the charm is made of is something that has beginning and end. And the, all the components used to formulate that charm is what that was picked in this gross material. Are you following? So anything that is livable in this gross material has beginning and end. So the same thing, whatever you use to formulate charm has beginning and end. Because in charm making, it's either you put leaves, it's either you put roots, it's either you put animals, all this is, is what they normally use to formulate a charm a, for a purpose. So, a charm is like medicine. Charm is like medicine because medicine is a combination of maybe chlorophyll, antisunate, and whatever. Are you following? So, it's a concussion. It's bringing this power, bringing this power, and I use it to formulate medicine. That is why, because medicine charms has limits. It has a sparing date because the component that was used to make it made that charm is something that has beginning and end. So beginning and end. Likewise, every medicine has a sparing date. That is why if you go to hospital, doctor can prescribe medicine. Take this medicine, 500 mg. Be taking it every day, or be taking it once morning and night. For seven days. The doctor have calculated the volume of whatever he wants to treat. And because of the strength of the medicine the doctor wants to give you. Therefore, the doctor can prescribe that from now to seven days. Based on the medicine composition. That this social sickness can be treated. So it has time and space. It has duration. So every time has duration. Are you following? Every charm has duration. Every charm has duration. 
So charm is formulated with gross material items. So and every formulation of man has begin and end. So charm cannot lead you for a very long time. Charm can only control the physical, this gross material world. Charm can only con control what is physical. Because the content of charms is what is physical. So therefore, you have to inspire between time and space. So that is why charm can never last forever. But love and sacrifices last forever. Because sacrifice is done out of love. So I don't want to know why can carry you to the great beyond. Agejia je chono weno tagi obgo na the world of the living. Some like Americans, they still celebrate Christopher Columbus, who happens to be their forefather, the pathfinder of America. So they still celebrate because of what he did and the love he showed his people. Are you following? So Whatever you done out of love can lead you even into the great beyond. But any charm, let's say, okite, um, unite, uh, yoki bubu, udwa komuri, moya, anything, whatever I call it, as long as it's formulated under charm, is formulated with items that has beginning and end within the time and space. So it must expire. That is why charms will always disappoint you at some certain time. Because and because of no Iha Kamel, you can disappoint. Yes. Because Mudikan and Bakamu if another person is involved. Are you following? So what I'm telling you today is this. Know this and know peace. That charms have space and time. It has expiring date. So don't depend on charms. And know that charms never will. You making charms, those dangerous charms is like bringing a small lion, maybe with old, to live in your house with you as a pet. But I can tell you, no matter how good you are with the lion, once lion grow of age and the lion is hungry and you are not ready to provide what he, the lion can eat, the lion can feast on you. That is what charm does. So, in Igbo spirituality, Igbo spirituality does not promote charm. In fact, charm making is not part of Igbo spirituality. I will explain. Those negative charm making is not part of Igbo spirituality. Igbo spirituality will tell you, you have a charge. You walk with the wrong way. That is why, na man will you cannot walk. Somebody can be making charms without being on your own, without being a core or than a practitioner. What is on your own? A core or than a person is that person that lives a good life and keep on swan. A good or than a person is the person that understands that it's a taboo for a man to sleep with a man, for a woman to sleep with a woman, for a man to sleep with somebody's wife. And so on and so forth. I even to take what is not yours without informing the owner. All those is answer in the most spirituality. So if anybody is not keeping these laws mentioned, whether mentioned and other those who sign that you know, the person is not on your because on your dinner is somebody that is observing the rules, the do's and don'ts of ordinary. So making charms, anybody can be making charms. An occult person can be making charms. Some people can be making charms with the power they borrowed. 
That is why you can see somebody that is making champs. He, he doesn't see anything wrong with sleeping with somebody's wife. He doesn't see anything wrong with committing any other atrocities. He doesn't see anything wrong or that's why some of them, after making the champs, they will tell you that they have to sleep with you in order to make the champs work. They can commit a lot of uh, abnormalities in the name of charm making. So you can see charm is a different thing. Somebody that is so diabolic can be making charms without other associates. So making charm is a different dimension. It's not part of this Igbo spirituality. Igbo spirituality is built on uh, justice and truth. That is a so, for you to be a core Igbo spiritualist. Igbo spirituality, that's why I told you before that even the Dibia does not represent Igbo spirituality. Somebody can be a Dibia using occultic power, using some negative powers to be doing his spiritual work. Yes. So that's why that somebody is a spiritualist or a Libya does not represent evil spirituality. That is why some people can be practicing their spiritualism and they be committing abomination. Sleeping with everything that they see. Are you, get, are you getting me? So what makes someone a spiritualist, evil spirituality person? Well, you must be able to always keep those natural laws. And avoid anything that is abomination in the spirituality. Because your power is drive by your son. I have said you want to solve this, you want to solve it. You will be And you will be able to solve it. So what am I saying in essence is this. Know that sacrifice is greater than each watch. Because sacrifice can catapult you the act of love. You cannot do sacrifice without love. So sacrifice can cat catapult you to the greater height beyond gross material. But charms can never catapult you beyond this gross material. It has time and space. So you, that depends so much on how charms can disappoint you because charms is not infinite. So charms has space and time. And charms can be married. So charms is a different dimension altogether from Igbo spirituality. Core Igbo spirituality is built on fairness and justice. But any charm that these dangerous charms I'm talking about is charm that you made with lack of love. What you are interested in is to hypnotize somebody, to take what belongs to somebody by fire, by force. Therefore, you are by cutting nature. Charm is some just simple by cutting nature. In order to get what you want, whether you merit it, merit it, whether you merit it or not. You want to by cut nature to get what you want by fire, by force. That is charm. So let me stop here. If you have any question, it is just let up. Chat me on WhatsApp. I, I understand that you understand what charms is all about and why you should avoid charms but why you should dwell on sacrifices sacrifices is act of showing love to entities of powers and allow uche to cook or may the will of god to be done because after flowing the natural sacrifices you commit your wish your request unto god and expecting god to hear your prayers and grant your heart desires. So you are of total submission to the will of God. But charms is for people that don't believe or they don't have that person to submit themselves or their request or their wish to the will of God. They want it today, tomorrow. That is why a charm, charm will give you the time. But in real HR sacrifices, you don't give God time. In your life, you allow each year to man. And we'll see if, if you have questions in this lecture, or you want us to do a deep consultation for you, chat me on WhatsApp 0805 783 
I repeat, 0805-7837-670 or 0813-8243871. I repeat, 0813-8243871. See you tomorrow, no God will give you. I will not be able to do it. I will not be able to do it. May the blessings of the Most High to who be with us and abide with us now and forevermore. Yeah,